Hey guys, I know this is a bit of a random video considering I normally don't do classic game reviews like these, and I'll explain why I decided to make this at the end of the video. This review took a very long time to make, and me and Scorch have been wanting to do a review like this for a really long time, so a better time to do it since this game came out 8 years ago today. So please let me know how you like it, and if you'd like to see more reviews like these. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Sonic 06 was the first entry in the next-gen era of the popular Sonic the Hedgehog franchise and marked a reimagination of the legendary Blue Blur and a major redesign for the series. But does it spark new life into the gameplay and bring glory to the story tell <laughs> um, I'm sorry, can, 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 I'm sorry, can we not um, do... I, I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't do... I'm, this game sucks, okay? I've literally, I've literally got 50 pages of notes on why this game shit so hard. Man, today's not my day! The story involves Sonic visiting the Kingdom of Soliana, inspired by Vetus, ruled by the beloved Princess Elise. It has a constitutional monarchy, you know. During the opening of the Olympic Games, <coughs> I mean the Fire Festival, the princess is soon confronted by the newly designed Dr. Robotnik, I mean, Dr. Eggman, as part of his elaborate plan to rule all of time. I've come here to obtain the secret of the flames of disaster from you, and to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secret, the Chaos Emerald. She gets kidnapped, but she's soon rescued by Sonic, but she gets captured again moments later anyway. So it's up to Sonic to save the princess and thwart Eggman once again. It's no use! <sighs> Not yet, Silver. The game also features two other playable hedgehogs. The returning Shadow the Hedgehog, complete with all his emo goodness, and a new hedgehog named Silver. Each character has their own lengthy campaign, telling you the same story from three different perspectives. But the presentation just makes things confusing. It's like the game is giving an excuse to reuse the same levels. Start the game, and right away you'll notice Sonic isn't exactly at his best. There's no sense of exploration or momentum, and Sonic's speed makes him more difficult to control accurately. This is already bad enough trying to get around in a peaceful town, but when your life depends on it, the game's imprecise controls become infuriating. Whoa! What's funny is that Sonic's maximum running speed is pathetic compared to earlier entries in the Sonic series. That and the fact that E123 Omega, another returning character from Sonic Heroes, is actually faster than Sonic in this game. Omega, the fucking bulky ass robot, is actually faster than the main character who's supposed to be fast. Man, today's not my day! The game's new muck speed sections are actually some of the worst sections in the game, and that's saying something. One accidental flick of the joystick could send Sonic tumbling to his doom or glitching through a wall. Whoa! Oh shit, no, no! Oh, oh, glitch. oh glitch time! Oh, he's glitched, he's glitched! Oh, oh, glitch. Get him, get him! The, the developers clearly intended to make it a climactic and epic finale to certain levels, but instead it just became overly infuriating and makes Sonic look semi-suicidal. Seriously, the game jumps from Sonic being retardedly slow to retardedly fast, to the point where you can't even accurately react to the shit being thrown at you from every direction. It's raining fire! Let's head into the volcano! This not only makes the pacing of the game bad, but the story just feels out of place. Variety is clearly the name of the game. For example, that one level where Sonic can use a snowboard. Whoa! Seriously, fuck that level. This is how you do a snowboarding section. This is not. Whoa! There are levels that are even worse because you have to carry Princess Elise throughout the whole fucking level. The two, the right two. If you put your but by far the dumbest part is when you have to get through quicksand with the force field, which was created by. Uh, 
I don't know, uh, the power of love? That's the power of love! Combat seriously cannot be simpler. Tap A and you win. Sonic does the same homing attack over and over, and for some reason every time you attack, you just fall to the ground like a hard rock. Bigger enemies with more health just means more bashing of the same button. Homing attack. Homing attack. Homing attack. Homing attack. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm gonna try something new. No, just kidding. Homing attack. Seriously, where is all the momentum? In the old games, the homing attack flows smoothly between enemies and keeps up speed. In this game, Sonic must weigh like 20 tons or something, because every time you use it, you just do a short air dash forward and then drop like Lindsay Lohan's underwear, losing all your speed and leaving yourself open to being off-screened by an enemy. Those lasers, I love how they're just like impenetrable. Like, I cannot get through them, even if I try. Nice. So good. Great programming. Indeed. The most surprising addition is the town of Soliana. There, Sonic is forced to run around looking for the next level, reading awful dialogue from creepy looking citizens, which look like meth addicts. I can't move in for a while, but my old place has already been sold! What am I supposed to do now? Um, stay in a hotel? Suicide? I, I don't know, your options are open here, buddy. I'm the town's accordion player. Here's a song for Princess Elise. I hope she's okay. Beautiful Elise. A oh, beautiful Princess Elise. Princess Elise. Princess Elise. Oh, beautiful Princess Elise. Beautiful, beautiful Princess Elise. Better sleep with your eyes open. Some of the townspeople can even give you extra missions, and these are insultingly bad. Here, boy, come here. Your master is just over here. I'm only doing this because I need the rings. Hey, Sonic, I bet you can't find all six of us before time runs out. <gasps> Princess Elise can wait. My honor has been challenged. Oh, no. Monsters are trying to break the barrels in the warehouse district. If they are broken, the warehouse will explode. Please defeat the monsters before they destroy the barrels? Mm, I'll pass. Uh, got a future to save, uh, blue hedgehog to beat up, you know. The game clearly intends for Soliana to be an interesting place to explore, but all of the compelling open world just makes it feel more dead than ever. <laughs> Stay out of the warehouse! But I've already been in the warehouse. You won't let me back in? I fought a bunch of robots back there. <laughs> Stay out of the warehouse, Sonic. But my friends are in there. I can see them right there. Save us, Sonic. We don't know how to get out. You just have to jump, guys. Look, it's easy. I don't know how. <laughs> Stay out of the warehouse, Sonic. Okay, uh... You guys are doing a great job. See you later. Then, there are the boss battles. Most of them are simply figuring out the boss's attack patterns so you can bring down their hit points. But when you figure it out, it can be ruthless. And yes, it's no use. Take this! It's no use! Take this! It's no use! It's no use! Take this! It's no use! Take this! It's no use! 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 It's no fucking use! Shut the hell up! Someone even made t-shirts. But the biggest foe you'll encounter is that fucking camera! The camera is automatically inverted and cannot be changed. How is it that I'm in an arena facing a giant robot, yet I can't find him? WHOA! With the combination of bad controls, bad camera, and bad gameplay, you're always afraid of what's coming next. Don't worry! Just raise your head and run! 
in his world. This game is shit in his world. Why'd they release it? Gotta make sure I don't fall in the water. No! Time has clearly been lavished on a long and intricate story. Sonic even indulges in romance of Princess Elise. And yes, it's just as strange as it sounds, especially since his head is bigger than her entire body. Okay, fine. Maybe it isn't all bad. Oh no, wait, it's fucking gross. This year, witness the culmination of Final Fantasy character designs paired with furries. Watch as the shitty dialogue and poor storytelling fuck the Sonic canon up more than it already is. See the emotional struggle and romantic character development in the best love story since Twilight. This is all so confusing. Supporting characters disappear and reappear for no apparent reason, and sometimes Sonic will act like they're still next to him when they're nowhere to be found. The battleship will take off any minute! Tails! Knuckles! Let's hurry! Ow! Where did Shadow and Rouge go? Did they appear You're right there! Themselves? Just taking a shit! Those two can take care of themselves! Hey guys, look! Breaking news! This game sucks! Princess Elise's presence is sporadic too. She gets rescued several times, only to be captured again a few scenes later. <laughs> Elise? Wait! Finally! I've been waiting so patiently for you to return, Princess. Elise! <laughs> Ah, uh, clip number two's my favorite. <coughs> Quick, Elise, blow your rape whistle! There are also outright inconsistencies. I finally found him. The Iblis Trigger. Oh, so Silver first finds Sonic at the festival. R right? I finally found him. The Iblis Trigger. Or not. Ugh, I don't know what the hell's going on! Oh, it wouldn't be a Sonic game without everybody's favorite colorblind stalker, Amy Rose. Hmm, I sense Sonic's presence here. Call it my girlish intuition. I can't believe we haven't located Sonic yet! Ugh, make up your mind, you whore! Eggman surprisingly comes off as the best. Not in the design department, no, but in other ways. I feel that Sega were trying to re-establish him as a credible threat after the slide in seriousness since the Sonic Adventure series. That is until the engine of his Warbird, the Egg Carrier 2, made by his genius IQ of 300, randomly shuts down. Your power will be mine, princess! Oh no, there's a random engine malfunction, but I'm going to die! Elise! Come on, Sonic, at least put some effort into it. Oh, by the way, Blaze is here too. Oh, I won't even begin to go into the amount of ass fuckery that is Blaze's inclusion in this game, especially after setting her up as such a prominent character in Sonic Rush. Oh, and while we're discussing villains, it is worth mentioning that this game features quite a unique antagonist that goes by the name of Mephiles the Dark. Easily, easily the most diverse and fleshed out villain in the game despite the fact that it's never really explained why he wants to be an evil villain. Cause he just wants to, I guess? It is sort of implied that it was Shadow's doing by sealing him in the Scepter of Darkness in the past, but it's never clarified. But again, it's a case of a good character being introduced in a bad game. 
Oh well, moving on. All in all, the script is filled with stupid lines and more inconsistencies. For some reason, the characters love to remark the obvious. This whole area is destroyed. The building's knocked over! These are submerged ancient ruins. That tornado! That tornado! That tornado's carrying a car! Well, no shit! And some lines are just silly mistakes. There should be a switch somewhere! Agent Rouge, report your status immediately. Have you retrieved the Book of Darkness? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. All I have is the Scepter of Darkness. You want a book? Go to the fucking library. Agent Shadow, E-123 Omega has engaged Mephilus. Head to the Wave Ocean, head to Wave Ocean immediately. Agent Shadow, E-123 Omega has engaged Mephilus. Head to Wave Ocean immediately. We expect an immediate rescue. Shadow the Hedgehog. No, 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 no. You're saying it wrong. It should go... <clears throat> we expect an immediate rescue, Shadow the Hedgehog. See, you're not supposed to say it like you're addressing yourself... <sighs> ah, forget it. Hey. Huh? Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> The three hedgehogs each have their own distinctive gameplay styles, and each character also has their following sub-characters, but they really don't serve any purpose. For example, the most unique attack Tails has is throwing bombs that scatter fake rings. The problem is, the only person this attack distracts is you, the player. Knuckles gliding can be fun at times, but his melee attacks just lead him to even more trouble. Looks like you discovered my secret! The rocks were fake all along! Shadow plays much like Sonic, but he's also given unnecessary vehicles to ride in because they were in his solo game, and he gains energy when he kills enemies. However, it's almost pointless. A full power meter allows him to transform into a slightly more powerful form, but it hardly justifies having a power meter on screen for the entire fucking game! Huh, I'm a different color now. <laughs> Strangely, it's Rogue the Bat who arguably plays the best. She's easy to control, <laughs> her gliding and climbing are quite fun, and she throws bombs that don't scatter fake rings. Omega's most distinct change in this game is the fact that he seems to be void of all of his destruction-loving ways from Sonic Heroes, including his desire to get revenge on Dr. Eggman. And his voice, oh my god, his fucking voice. Why on God's green earth did they decide to change his voice from that badass double-toned voice from Sonic Heroes into this overly, overly robotic chipmunk voice where he speaks so damn slow. Eventually, when something or someone is seen as too powerful, It is seen as a threat. Could you maybe talk a little faster, please? Zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero. And then there's Silver. Silver's plot pace seems incongruous in a Sonic game. Silver's the name. Slow and annoying's my game. I mean, yeah, I can relate to him wanting to save his doomed future and all. But the game doesn't expand upon this in any way, and instead makes him a character that's so fucking hateable, it almost comes across as intentional. And I won't even talk about his speed. Oh, oh his speed, oh lord! Look at that sheer speed, Silver is tearing up the screen right now, he's going so fast he's walking on the wall! There's actually this one cutscene just after the boss battle against Silver, or Sonic if you're playing as Silver, which shows Elise being snagged by Eggman, and Silver knocking down Sonic for trying to go save her. So Silver, does part of your elaborate plan to save the future also involve dooming an innocent 17 year old girl? I actually wait, wait, no, no, fuck the bitch! And that's not me ripping on Silver, I actually think Silver is a genuinely, genuinely unique character, and pretty badass to boot. It's just, again, a shame that he was introduced in such a shit game, in which his only call to glory is the fact that the writers decided to have him beat the crap out of the main protagonist in order to make him look cool. 
His telekinetic abilities are very difficult to target anything in the game, and it feels like the only reason they're in the game is to show off Sega's new physical engine. <laughs> there are a host of a ton of other annoyances in the game. I could go on for hours about it. Got them. Oh! Oh no! Where am I? No! Oh, no. Kill you threw me through a wall, you <laughs> son of a bitch! I threw him through a glitchy wall. Oh no! Great! Great, no. great! No. <laughs> Even the achievements in this game are unhelpful. Seriously, clear unlocked Sonic difficult level mission? And obtain the all moves? The fuck? Wow, I can't wait to acquire those all moves. Holy shit guys, this roof feels incredible. I... Can't move! Physics, save me! This game bites. I'm out of here. They see me rolling. They hey, this is easier than it looks. Don't know why everyone complains about this. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick nap. The game's full of jarring transitions as the cutscenes mislead the viewer to what's really going on. One minute you're in a high-tech looking room and then suddenly- You're outside! Well, Eggman, it's time for the final showdown. Right here, right now. In this room. Now we're fighting on a platform outside. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just have to carry you outside of this exploding ship and- the fucking fuck? The biggest thing that makes the game feel incomplete is the endless loading times. I have a challenge for you, Sonic. Do you accept my challenge? Loading time. Question one. How many boxes are there? Loading time. <laughs> loading time. Correct. Loading time. He's playing 06 again, isn't he? Yep! The game isn't completely bad, however, after you complete a half-decent section, there's always fear of what's to come next for this stage of abuse. Ooh, no! Sonic has become a stranger in his own game, and he's even irrelevant to his own story, since most of the game you play as different characters. There's no overcoming the bad ideas that saturate this game. It's unnecessarily long when it should be short. It features way too many needy side characters when it should focus more on Sonic. Terrible plot devices, poor overworld, and endless breakaways from the action, and a romance that makes me wish Son Amy was a thing. Please, if you're a Sonic fan or are thinking of getting back into the franchise, whatever you do, don't, I repeat, don't buy this fucking game. Don't even glance at it. I traded it in years ago. Please, go and play a far better one, like Sonic Unleashed, or Colors, or Generations. Heck, even go back and take a swing at the Sonic Adventure titles. They still hold up well today, despite being a bit rough around the edges. Sonic the Hedgehog is full of bad ideas, badly executions, and has way too many bugs. Sonic has a lot to make up for. Needed Scourge, we give this game a final verdict of a 2 out of 10. It's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for watching.
So the reason I decided to make this review is because a friend of mine sent me a game he mentioned I would personally enjoy, however, when I received it, it was a blank case and the disc was blank as well. Out of curiosity, I loaded it up in my Xbox, and yes, it started up Sonic 06. Both me and Scourge play the game from start to finish, and we've always wanted to make a review like this. Again, please let me know if you enjoyed the review and if you'd like to see more like these. Thanks again guys, and PEACE! This will end it! No!